To ensure that the spring brake portion of the spring brakes respond quickly, a relay valve is mounted at the rear of the vehicle, near the brakes it serves. The relay valve speeds the application and release of the spring brakes. A spring brake relay valve delivers or releases air to the spring brakes in response to control air received from the PP1 push-pull valve or other source. A different relay valve controls the service brakes. The Bendix R14 relay valve is essentially the R12 discussed in part two of this series. The lower half of both valves are interchangeable. The R14 has an additional anti-compounding feature built in. The components for the anti-compounding feature are contained in the cover and consist of a diaphragm and balance port. Anti-compounding, simply defined, means the avoidance of double braking. It prevents the simultaneous application of service brakes and emergency or parking brakes. The compounding of spring force and air pressure creates too much force that could possibly damage brake components. The R14 prevents this from occurring. To accomplish this, a line is connected from the delivery side of the service relay valve to the balance port of the R14. With no air pressure at the service port of the R14, the parking brakes are applied. If a service brake application is made, air from the R12 relay valve enters the balance port of the R14's quick release. The diaphragm moves, blocking the service port. Air from the balance port flows into the cavity above the relay piston, forces the piston down, opening the inlet, delivering air to the spring brake cavity. The R14, through its anti-compounding feature, assures that the parking brakes are released with the same amount of air pressure as the R12 is delivering to the service brake. 